Hi there, this is Avra. This is one of my Google Nuggets videos. And today we are talking about using Google Slides for parent communication. So we've been talking about using a Google Slideshow as either a parent newsletter or even a little mini classroom website. Um, as I've said in other videos, I think it's the perfect option for someone who's not quite ready to dive into Blogger or Google Sites, but does wanna start using some of the power of the tools that Google provides for us um, for educators for free. Let me come back over here. And um, so anyway, this is the perfect way to be able to start sharing information with your parents. But what the biggest challenge is at first is just getting this information to them. If they all in a perfect world had Google accounts, you could hit share and you could type in all of their email addresses. But if they if you don't have all their email addresses, or they don't all have Google accounts, it's not going to be as easy. So what the best thing to do is either to take the entire big long URL and copy it and paste it into an email that they can get to, or use what's called a URL shortener. And the easiest one I think to use is this one that's, it's made by Google, it's goo.gl. So what I did to open that tab is I literally just went to a new tab and I typed in goo.gl. You don't need HTTPS, you don't need www, you don't need anything. Just hit enter and then you are there at that Google URL shortener that I have open over here also. So you'll see what you have is a box right here, a text box that says paste your long URL here. So I'm gonna copy this come back over into this tab, and then I'm going to paste it. Right click and paste. And then it, I'm gonna click shorten URL. And then right here, it has shortened it for me. So now I can right click and copy that and I'll have it. So I'm gonna just put that here. I'll maybe make a new text box. And put it right there for people just so they'll have it. But the nice thing about this is now that it is something that you could send home on a piece of paper with kids. You'll want to tell parents that absolutely they'll need to make sure that they type it in perfectly, but at least it's only about 15 characters instead of it being about 100. <laughs> so you'll want to make sure that they understand that the B at the end is cap sensitive, so it is a capital B and so on and so forth. But at least then it's something that hopefully they can all get to this. And once they do, you just need to make sure that they bookmark it and then they'll have they'll be set to go for the entire year. They'll have access to the classroom information that you wanna share with them. And the nice thing is, is that unless you've shared it with someone, people can't really access it. You've set it up to where only people um, with the link can share, and I did that in another video. So that's really important too, because that way you can make sure to tell your parents, hey, listen, this information about our classroom and what happens in our classroom isn't necessarily out there, public on the web for everyone to see. It's just for our community of, of learners and of parents, but that's kind of a conversation for another day, and that's up to you. But that is an option and something that you can let parents know, because a lot of times they'll feel a lot more comfortable. So that is how you shorten a URL. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.